Hey guys, I thought I'd share some of my favorite workshop items that I actually own and use in my workshop, hopefully to inspire you with a few gift ideas for a loved one, or perhaps for you to add to your Christmas list to see what Santa brings you. If you're anything like me, I tend to acquire most of my woodworking tools and accessories from either selling projects or adding them to my list for Christmas and birthday presents. So hopefully this helps you. Or if you just want to treat yourself, then why not just do it? Go on, you deserve it. You'll find the links in the description. I'm a big proponent of using only one tape measure as it means there's no discrepancies between the measurements. Whereas if I use one type of tape measure inside the house to measure something and then use another for measuring my project up, there could be a difference in the measurements, which could cause issues. My favorite is the FastCap True32, AKA lefty righty tape measure. What I love about this particular one is that the fact that it's got left right measurements. My biggest bugbear with most tape measures is that I like to work entirely in metric, but when I want to mark on one side of the tape, I have to try and measure across to see which imperial measurement matches my metric measurement. Or if you're an imperial kind of guy, you'll experience the same issue with trying to link up to the metric measurement. It also has some other great features. Firstly, I really like the white background rather than the yellow. I'm not sure why, but for me, I think I prefer the white over yellow. It's also got a pencil sharpener on it, which is great if you're using a standard pencil. And it's also got this white space on it for noting down any measurements if you've forgotten your notepad. I'm not convinced this white space will last very long if you're using it all the time, but I've had this one for a couple of years now, and in a pinch, it's a really nice feature over just plastering a large brand logo on it like most of the other brands. The belt clip also works really well too, and as it's spring-loaded, I clip mine onto a metal bracket when it's not in use, and it goes into my pocket much easier than the standard bent metal clips on most tape measures. Mine's the metric version, but there is an imperial version as well, which means you'll get the same measurements on both sides, which is ridiculously useful. So I'll link to both the metric and imperial ones in the description. Now, if you've seen any of my project videos, you'll undoubtedly recognize this bad boy. Next to my tape measure, this is the most used item in my workshop. This one's the Tracer Deep Hole Marking Pencil, but there are a few different brands out there that all do a similar job as well. The great thing about these pencils are the thick lead compared to your thinner mechanical pencils. This thick lead allows you to mark through a hole and it's less likely to break on you, but I use it as my go-to pencil for all my measuring and marking unless I need to be particularly fine. You tend to get a built-in lead sharpener on most of these types of pencils too, which is a nice little feature. and means you can be relatively accurate with your marks. It also means that your lead tends to last quite a long time as well. This one came with a separate storage pot as well for leads, and it included standard lead as well as yellow refills. These yellow ones are definitely more crumbly than the standard lead, but it's perfect for marking onto darker woods as you tend to struggle to see the standard lead. I did get this deep hole marker pen in the set I bought, but I'm not so keen to recommend this as the ink leaked quite a bit on mine and it dried up fairly quickly. It has been useful when the pencil wouldn't mark on the surface, such as when marking into brick, but it's definitely not as useful for your workshop in general. I do swear by the pencil though, and I've linked to the deep hole marking pencil in the description. If you watch YouTube videos, then you'll probably have seen your favorite YouTuber using one of these. It's called a digital angle finder. This one's from Trend Brand, but there are a bunch of them out there from various different brands that all do the same job. I use this one every time I adjust my saw blades so I can ensure my blade either sits at a perfect 90 degrees or at the angle I want to cut my wood at. It works really simply by zeroing in on the bed of your tool and then sticking it to the blade and adjusting accordingly. It's magnetized, so it's really simple to use. I use it all the time and highly recommend getting one. Next up, we have another simple accessory you may have seen on many YouTube videos. It's this little glue bottle. It's called the Glue Bot by FastCap, who incidentally also make the tape measure I showed you earlier. The clever thing about this glue bottle is the spout, which means that gravity is already working for you, as the spout uses the glue from the bottom of the bottle, whereas most others, you need to turn your bottle upside down and wait for it to run to the tip. That's not the end of the world generally, but I do feel that this gives you more control. Yay! The flat opening from the spout also gives a good spread, but as per most glue bottles, it can clog up from time to time, even when using the rubber cap. So I do occasionally have to unclog it with a nail. 
but overall I really like using this for smaller projects and detailed glue ups. Mine came in a pack of three with different size bottles, but in all honesty, the largest one gets 99% of use on my project, so save your money and just get the one. My next recommendations are a little bit different, but if you're anything like me, you'll tell your better half that you're just going into the workshop for a few minutes and then rock up about a few hours later after completely losing track of time. I found that the issue with this is that I tend to end up quite dehydrated, so I've gotten into the habit of taking my water bottle out with me whenever I head out. These vacuum sealed ones keep the water nice and cool as well, which is great when it's hot. This one is Yungle branded, but there are loads of different types online, so you can literally choose from hundreds. I've even seen some with wood effect on them, which look pretty sweet. Definitely get yourself one though, make sure you take it into the workshop. Another crucial thing to take into the workshop with you is a steaming hot cup of tea or coffee. After far too long drinking my hot drinks mixed with a little sprinkle of sawdust, I decided to get myself one of these travel mugs, which not only keeps the drink hot for much longer, but also has a cap on the top that seals the drink from any sawdust that might creep in. The sealable cap on the top is the crucial element for me, so I've linked one of these in the description for you. This is a must for any workshop. If you watched my recent impact driver video, then you'll know that I've loved having this little impact driver bit set from Milwaukee. Not only does it cover pretty much every screw type you need, but it's a compact little set with a belt hook. And when I'm doing anything in the house, I'll just bring the whole box with me. It's funny the amount of times when I've been dismantling something or doing some DIY, only to find that half of it is built with Torx head screws and the other half is PZ2 screws. This set also includes a useful bit holder that comes in really handy as well. I don't know about you guys, but I love listening to music, audio books and podcasts in my workshop, as I can find that radio can get very repetitive, very repetitive, very repetitive. Not to mention the news bulletins are generally really depressing. I needed something small that won't take up a load of space, but can cut through a lot of the noise when I'm busy working on a project. So I got this Bluetooth speaker a few years ago from Sony. And it's never missed a beat. See what I did there? Beat? Music? I forget it. For such a small unit, the sound quality and volume is awesome. In fact, it's so good that when we decided we wanted a speaker for out in the garden, we immediately looked for another one of these. But they'd updated it to this newer one. So we went ahead and bought it. And I have to say that this one's even better than the original, with better quality sound and an amazing battery life. Not to mention the fact that it's dust and waterproof, so it really helps when using it in the workshop. For under £40, I definitely recommend getting one if you don't have something for your workshop. Another really simple and pretty unsung hero in my workshop are these magnetic tool holder strips. Although they're a bit boring, I guarantee that you'll end up using them all the time. As you can see from my tool wall, I have a mix of custom-made tool holders alongside these magnetic strips and they're great for holding things that I regularly need quick access to. So it's definitely worth asking for a set to be left in your stocking this Christmas. My final item is something I swear by. I like to sketch out my designs and plans in my notebook in the first instance. I find the dot grid system in this notebook really useful as I can easily use it to scale down my measurements and use them as a reference. It also means there are less lines getting in the way compared to squared graph paper styles. This is the old book, but since having it, I've become such a big fan of the style of notebook that I've started to spend a little bit more money on higher quality books that are more accurate and can stand up to wear and tear in your workshop. This is the Lectum 1917 one, and I've used this one the last year and just got myself a new one to start out with 2023. It's got 251 pages, all numbered, two ribbons so I can flip between different pages with projects on and it has a contents page in the front so you can easily reference the pages you want to go back to for different projects. I'd highly recommend getting one of these for yourself to keep all your notes, designs, plans all in the same place. And there you go, 10 gift ideas for woodworkers that won't break the bank but will have a really positive impact on your day-to-day -day experience in the workshop and will hopefully help you to create more projects. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please consider subscribing and I think you'll enjoy this video next. See you next time.